How's it going, everybody? Mike Monzi here, and I'm finally back. It's been around, what, four or five days since I've made a video? And if you're wondering, I've been on vacation, so sorry I didn't tell you guys. I've, I've just been very busy. Uh, it was a very fun but packed vacation. But I'm currently on spring break, so you should see a video every single day from me. And today I wanted to kick off the week with a new type of video. It's basically just more of a rant. It's not really a mod video, but I wanted to talk about one feature, one singular feature, or one new mode added to this game that probably would save it. And now this is completely my opinion, so you guys could completely disagree. But personally, this is what I would add to the game, and I feel like it would add replayability, fun modes, and more fun gameplay, a lot of customization, and it would just be something that would have you keep coming back to the game every day. So this is the mode that I think would save this game. A create your own fighter. Just like Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Now I know what you're thinking. What? A create your own fighter? How would that save the game? But now hear me out. So for this mode, it would be very similar to Armageddon with a lot of quality of life changes. So you get the gist of it. If you played Mortal Kombat Armageddon and you understand how that game worked with its creative fighter, you'd be able to pick your own fighting style. So you'd get different strings depending on what fighting style you chose. You'd get your own special moves. You would get to pick what your character looks like. So there would just be tons of customization. And I know you guys are probably thinking, what? So this mode's going to be lazy. It's just going to be able to pick any of the characters fighting styles in game or any of their special moves. But no, they'd be able to have generic ones, different ones that aren't already on the roster characters. They did that in Armageddon as well. So... You know how like Raiden and Kung Lao during the story mode had different types of special moves because they didn't have their lightning or their hat? Well, it would be something like that where you could have uh, just, you know, generic special moves. And then as you level up, you could get, you know, ones with lightning abilities or ones with, you know, scorpion spear. Any special move you could think of. And it doesn't just have to be ones that are already on the main roster. I know it'd be extra work for the developers, but... I feel like that would be really worth it. And I know you're probably thinking to yourself, wouldn't that be extremely unbalanced? But that's why there would be a completely separate ranking system and a completely separate online just for you to fight with your character against other people who created their own fighter. So that would be completely separate from ranked. It wouldn't change anything in the base game right now. So people who love ranked or love playing online with the roster that's already in the game, they can still do that. The create your own fighter would not affect any of this. It would just be another mode to have. It would kind of be like NBA 2K's uh, My Career on the park. You know, 2K also has My Team and just regular gameplay. So it would be similar to that. It wouldn't change the base game. It would just add more to it. And you know, having super overpowered moves and strings, wouldn't that be fun? Like I know, for online, it might get annoying if you, if you find like the best optimal string, like an infinite combo or something. They could obviously patch that. But... Just having fun creating your own character, having insane strings and special moves that work perfectly together. That would bring some fun into the game. When I see people constantly getting nerfed and like certain characters getting buffs and seeing the same thing online every time, it gets boring. And the whole point of this mode would just be to go crazy and just have this insane world outside of what's already in the game where you get to create your own fighter in your own universe and do whatever you want. Have whatever moves you want. I mean, if you want to, you could literally just make Scorpion as your creative fighter. You could do that. Or you could make a new type of ninja or a new type of lightning wielder like Raiden. Or you could make Fujin. Imagine if you're able to make Fujin or whatever you want. It's just the possibilities are endless. And I feel like something like that would bring so much life to this game and replayability. I just don't see why they didn't head in this direction. Now, of course, there would have to be microtransactions because they, they wouldn't make a mode that they can't make money from. But microtransactions for this could be just certain costumes or skins that you could put on your character. And obviously, that wouldn't be the only skins that you could get in the game. I say have both free and paid costumes. And by free, I just mean you could use in-game currency like the coins that are now just sitting in your account because there's nothing else in the shrine and you can't use them for uh, jack crap. So those coins would actually have a use again and you'd be able to unlock certain skins or certain uh, outfits for your character. And then of course there would be the paid ones where if you want to pay for it, you can, but you don't have to. 
when I see like fatalities you could pay for or skins you could pay for for like the same characters and they're like $10, it's it's kind of ridiculous. But I feel like it'd be more justified for a create a character. And I feel like people would be more willing to buy it if it, you know, it's their own unique character. They'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, I want a ninja outfit where I could change the palette to whatever ninja colors I want. That's another thing. They should completely just get rid of the palette system and make it like Tekken where you could set it to whatever colors you want. The palette system, in my opinion, is dookie. And I personally am not a fan of it. Now, here's the part that would be very different from Armageddon. And this is the completely new thing that I'd want to add in the game. And that would be a conquest mode specifically for your created characters. And that would take the place of invasions. Because invasions right now, it, it was a cool concept on paper. And I know they put effort into it, especially making the maps originally, but they set themselves up for failure. It's very repetitive, very boring, and they worked so hard on these maps that now they keep reusing them for every single season, and it makes people not appreciate them. During the first season, I was like, whoa, okay, this mode's cool. But since then, they haven't changed anything with it, except some balancing patches. Like, that's about it. They just change the order of which map you're going to be on, and that's all. And I feel like that's really upsetting, especially because I know the developers are putting a lot of work into this game, but WB isn't giving them the tools or the the blueprint necessary to really show off their work and put it in a creative light. If they had a conquest mode where you go around these areas and you have different missions where you fight different characters and travel around the place, That'd be so much better than the way it's invasions where it's like a mobile game where you just walk in a straight line or maybe take a few lefts or rights, fight characters. It's just the way that's implemented isn't great. I feel like the conquest mode, even if you didn't have dialogue, if you just had text box on the screen, that'd be a lot better. We wouldn't even need cutscenes. I know they put a lot of time into the story mode, but I feel like if they turn this invasions into a different type of conquest mode, where there's more free roam, there's more freedom, and you have actual missions that you do instead of just walking in a line to face the final boss. That'd make it so much more enjoyable. And obviously, throughout seasons, they could expand on that, add a new mesa. That's the word, a mesa. They could add a new mesa or a new world. And they could add one every season where you have more objectives. I just feel like that would have been so much better. And of course guys anything i say here if you agree or disagree let me know down in the comments below i want to hear you guys opinions because i think what i'm saying right now is a no-brainer on how much it would save this game and on top of all of this you know the events right they have right now in invasions like invasion bosses like per season like there was baraka and general Shao. i think they could do something like that for your created character where your created character would fight these but instead of the invasion bosses where it's just like you know, a, a new skin for Baraka or a new skin for General Shao, where it's his Shao Kahn skin from the story. It could be all new characters where it's like either more from multiple ones, like how they were doing in the final chapter, or just a brand new character. They should have done something like that, where it's, it has like a mo more, where it has like a mesh of moves or like different moves that you've never seen before or ones that you could unlock for your created fighter. Like if there was a fire and ice ninja in one as an invasion boss, you know how cool that would be? That, that would be pretty cool. And it doesn't mean the character has to be playable. If they had it as a new boss where it's a completely different ninja that's not Sub-Zero Scorpion with their own like unique design, it could even be like a classic ninja outfit like the Mortal Kombat 3 ones they added with just a different palette. You know how cool that would be? People would eat that up. Personally, I would have loved it. It would feel it would feel more refreshing. And that's that's about all of it for what I would add personally. The other thing I'll say is for cameos, it could go any which way with this. You could either have it where instead of a cameo, you just have three three support moves, or you could already use the cameos that are in the game, or you could have your own custom cameo fighter, or you could just remove them entirely from that mode. I feel like it could go either way, but I feel like people would love this mode. It would add so much more replayability to this game, and honestly, I think it would have saved it. Now, I know all of this, it's a lot of work. I know that. It wouldn't be easy, and they definitely cannot add it this late into the game. But this could be an idea for Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 13, whatever it's going to be called. Maybe a completely different name. But I personally think 
that in the future they should add a mode like this. Because their base game, it's fun. The gameplay's fun, the graphics are beautiful, but the replayability and the lack of content is really what's killing it. And it's making the hate for this game just like get substantially greater. And the hate, I feel like it's hard to say if it's out of proportion or not, because people are upset. They're allowed to be upset. They paid money for this game and they're not happy with the content. But I don't know. I just feel like it should definitely have a mode like this. If I were to make a fighting game, I would make a mode like this. I personally think this mode would be awesome. And let me know in the comments, guys. Would you love a create your own fighter with its own exclusive modes, own exclusive gameplay, special events for it? Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. And get ready for Striker cosplay on John Cena, as well as an update on some more Mortal Kombat 1 costumes. I'm going to work on getting out the kinks and issues with them, and hopefully I'll be able to release some Mortal Kombat 1 skins for you guys. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Glad to be back. Bye-bye.